What's up guys, it's your boy Karen here and welcome back to another rebuild on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So, today we're doing a fantasy balls rebuild. So yeah, I'm just going to rebuild the team the best I can, uh, doing whatever I, moves I would like. I'm going to be probably keeping the young guys maybe, unless they don't progress. It's only three seasons, so maybe not. Levine might get traded. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make it up on the fly. But hopefully, Zach Levine, Larry Markkinen, they're probably two pieces of the team that I'm going to be keeping the most. Otto Porter's probably, he's got a team player option next year that he's probably going to opt into so i'll probably trade him next season thaddeus young he's still on the team for quite a while wendell carter i'm not sure if he'll progress quick enough for this game but he does have a bit of trade value so i might actually be trading him kobe white i'm going to be keeping on the team i want him to be our starting point guard for the entire rebuild because he does progress at the end to be like an 85 overall or something so he he's going to be a nice point guard for us chris dunn i might be trading away i'm not sure yet yeah so i'm not 100 sure i've sent ryan i i'd Archenzo, Archenzo, I don't know how to pronounce his name, so let me know if I said it wrong. Chandler Hutchinson and Daniel Gafford down in the G League so they can progress for us. Rotation-wise, this is what the rotation's looking like. Kobe White, Zach Levine, Otto Porter, Larry Markin, and Wendell Carter as our starting five for this first season. And then we have Thaddeus Young, Thomas, Chris Dunn, and Denzel coming off of the bench. Scoring options, Zach Levine, Larry Markin, and Kobe White. System proficiency, Perimeter centric, three stars, one of the better ones. Power rankings, I'm not it's thinking we're too high up. We're actually quite a lot higher than I expected. We're 17 according to NBA.com and 23 according to Eric. So you never know what's going to happen. I'm going to simulate this first season and I'll see you guys after with our results. So this first season, we did a lot better than I thought we would. We went 37 and 45. Giannis is the MVP. Zion, rookie. D'Angelo, six-man. Kawhi, Terry Rozier, and Doc Rivers getting all the awards there. Not expecting any Chicago Bulls on these teams. No, we don't. Oh, we do get Kobe White, all rookie first team. Lovely to see. Nice to see that there. And we do somehow make the seventh seed in the East. The East is that week. Holy moly. Should have traded my pick away. We won 37 games, and we still managed to make the playoffs. Yeah, all right. Cheers, lad. Uh, so, Zach Levine, 22.5 points, 3 rebounds, almost just under 3 assists. Larry Markkinen, averaging just under 20 points, 9 rebounds, and uh, not a, really a lot, of assist, a lot of assists there. Otto Porter, 15, 5, and not a lot there. Kobe White, just under 15. Wendell Carter Jr., averaging tw just under 12 points, and that's about all there. Team stats here, points per game. We, I'm not expecting us to be very high up. Yeah, we were bottom 10 offensively. We were just outside the bottom 10 defensively. And differential again we were just outside the bottom 10 and somehow we still made the playoffs so i'm not really gonna hope too much that we're actually gonna do anything this fight playoff series we're just kind of here for filler because somehow we made it up to the this point in time and we did manage to pull off one game which is kind of crazy do get eliminated by the nets in five games yeah there's not a lot else there so i'm just going to simulate the rest of these playoffs to see you guys with the champs the lakers were the champions with lebron getting up finals mv there. So this season, because we made playoffs, we're probably not going to have a good pick at all. Yeah, no, we already have our picks fixed. So yeah, we're not going to have a good pick. Washington get one. Yeah, and we've got the 16th pick. So I mean, we could possibly use it. Star signing. I'm sorry, Jim Boylan. I would like to pick up a Jacob Underwood because Jacob Underwood's my guy. And I also would like to pick up a trainer here. We do have quite a lot of flexibility cap-wise, which I can utilize very much. So that should be good. We get all three of those blokes there. Let's go down to this NBA draft. So yeah, there's really not a lot that I'm thinking that we really need to do because we do have quite a few pieces that we could trade away. Like Cristiano Felicio, I'd like to get rid of. If I can pair those two with Chris Dunn, could I pick up anyone that's kind of decent? I'm going to go with this Detroit, these Detroit picks here. Just to free up some cap. I'd like to try and pick up Anthony Davis this offseason. That's kind of my goal. So if I gave up Thomas and, say, Luke, could that get me some more cap flexibility? We can get Chris Dunn back. <laughs> we could get those guys back, right? Because if we get those back, I think we can get two firsts from the Blazers as well. So I'm going to try this. Um, hopefully this does actually work. If not, then I just kind of traded these guys back for no reason. So please work. Thank you, Portland. I take two first from Portland, and we should be okay. Pick-wise, we got the 16th pick. Let's see what we can pick up here. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to pick up Jordan Nawara just so I can grab up a small forward. I have another forward to try and come off the bench. If he, if I could progress him this season, it will be good for next season. And for our second rounder, I will just take Trey Jones. Sure. Why the heck? Not so Anthony Edwards went one, Lamelo two, 
Theo Maladin 3, Killian Haynes and RJ Hampton. Rookie signings, I'm going to bring Nawara and Train Jones onto our squad. We're going to make sure everyone comes back. Yeah, so not a lot really. I'm going to see, I'm just going to see how much money I do need to free up to try and go after AD. I need to free up 10 mil. I could probably do that. I'm going to see what I can do here. I need to free up 10 mil. So Thad Young, I'm going to trade you away, my guy. Sorry, bud. I'm going to trade Thaddeus Young away to the Hawks just for two uh, two first round picks here. This frees up some cap and that also allows me to go after an Anthony Davis, which I don't expect us to be able to pick up. We might be able to might not he we are his number one option so maybe we could pick him up that would be awesome if we can we do pick up anthony davis whoa thank goodness man we actually could be in a chance for this man we could be in a chance to win everything here because we picked up ad from the lakers which is awesome because the lakers didn't want him so we pick up ad that is actually really good i'm gonna move ad back to the power forward because he likes playing the power forward which means larry marketing we don't need larry marketing anymore which is kind of upsetting but I don't want Larry to be coming off of our bench. Uh, so if we moved Larry Market in and say offer up Otto Porter and try and get like a starting caliber small forward. If someone wants to come, Chris Middleton would be dope. Looking Trey Young, we're not looking for a point guard or a shooting guard here. Looking for a small forward, Brandon Ingram, Andre Drummond. So the best, Chris Middleton, I reckon would probably be the best pickup I'm going for. Yeah, I'll pick up Chris Middleton. Sure, why the heck not? I probably could have tried to bargain to get another first round pick, maybe. All right, so there wasn't a trade that came up for Chris Middleton. So we're going to be rocking Chris Middleton this season. So we have AD, Chris Middleton, Zach Levine, Wendell Carter, and Kobe White as the starting five. I also signed John Henson in the free agency as a backup center. But besides from that, we have backups for every single position. And I'm going to leave free agency here. Let's just see who else is here. If anyone that I'd like to pick up is still here. Wayne Ellington wouldn't be bad or Reggie Bullock. I'll offer Reggie Bullock a deal if he'd like to come here to the Bulls. That would be pretty cool. He does. That gives us some, another, some more depth. I will see you guys down at training camps. So, training camps wise, I'm going to go down to untapped potential. And I'm going to probably give it to Kobe White. Because I'd like to see him progress into a very good starting point guard. I'll give it to Wendell Carter. Because I would like to see him progress into a very good starting center for us. Because those three are all A pluses, so we should be all good there. And I'm actually going to give it to Ryan here to try and get him to a much better ceiling. I'm not going to change the team around here. I'll see you guys with our rotation for this season. Alrighty, so the starting lineup for this season is Kobe White, Zach Levine, Chris Middleton, Anthony Davis, and Wendell Carter Jr. Uh, with Ryan Ardenchenzo coming off of the bench with Chandler Hutchinson, Daniel Gafford, Shake Middleton, and John Henson. Uh, we have AD. Uh, Zach Levine and Chris Middleton as our scoring options. Proficiency, we're going with a balanced system here for the system seems to be the best fit for everyone. We're projected one seed and one seed, so hopefully we can do that. I'm just going to simulate the season. I'll see you guys at the end of the sim. Alrighty, so this season went a little bit better. We went 45 and 37. Giannis was the MVP. Lamelo Ball, Rookie of the Year. Gordon Hayward, sixth man. Kawhi, defensive. Michael Porter Jr., most improved. Brent Brown, coach of the year. And Giannis was... Oh, uh, yep, I didn't have to go to Giannis. Um, so did we get any Chicago Bulls on these teams? We do get AD, All-NBA second team. But that's the only Chicago Bull we have. We also get Anthony Davis, All-Defensive second team there. We probably wouldn't have any rookies either there either so we finish as a fifth seed in the east actually so that's pretty all right player stats let's see what everything goes down here ad 26.3 points 12.2 rebounds and 3.1 assists awesome to see zach levine chris middleton wendell carter kobe white gafford team stats here points per game we were 13th defensively we were about ninth and differential do we have a positive differential? Yes, we did. We did have a positive differential. We were 10th. So, I uh, don't know. Do I, do I change my rotation for the season? I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, let's just go like this. Let's bring all that down. And then let's just bring up the minutes here for the starters. Because I'd like to see them make some noise here. So, there we go. There's that. Don't need to change anything else. Let's just simulate round here against the Celtics. We are the fifth seed. So, we don't have home court. They have home court. So, anything could really happen here. We do go up 2-1, so we could possibly go here. We're up 3-1, so I'm pretty sure we're going on through to the second round. We are, and we're taking on the one-seeded Philadelphia 76ers. So that should be pretty fun here. Let's just simulate round. I'm not sure what we're going to do against the Sixers. I'm not expecting much. Probably going to lose it to the Sixers here, so we're down 3-0. So we're probably going to get swept. No, we didn't get swept. That's cool. 
We're 2-3, three, 3-3, three, three, and we get eliminated in a game of seven. So we almost made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, which means we are doing something right. We are prog progressing nicely along here. So, yeah, this offseason, what am I going to do? I'm probably going to try and upgrade the center position. Sorry, Wendell Carter and Bulls fans who like Wendell Carter. I'm probably going to try and see what I can pick up for Wendell Carter. But the Atlanta Hawks are the champions with Trey Young getting finals MVP. Damn, go Atlanta. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, do we have any picks? So we have the projected fifth pick from Detroit, which is could come in kind of clutch. And we get that fifth pick. Wait, no, we don't. We get the seventh pick. They fell down. So we got the seventh pick there from Detroit. And do we have any? Oh, we have 19th pick. Do we have any others? We also have the 21st pick as well. Oh, and the 30th pick. So we have quite a few picks. That's cool there. So we could use those in this in to trade with Wendell Carter, which could be uh, could lead to something real good. Let's just go down to this NBA draft. What could we possibly do here? What I'm thinking is moving up to five. Plus we get Devon Dots, Dotson, who has a bit of trade value. So sure, I'll do that. Okay, so if you guys didn't see that, you probably did. It was probably quiet because I was doing a trade, but I traded for Cade Cunningham, so I just got rid of all of our picks, and we traded for Cade Cunningham. I'll show you guys the transaction report here. So we traded for Cade Cunningham. We gave up two first, a second, Mario Hazonia, and our first next season. So then we got Cade Cunningham, who could come, who can come off of the bench for us nicely. Is he? He is a point guard, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he's a point guard, small forward, so he could, will come in handy for us. Team player options, we're going to bring everyone back. Qualifying, we don't have any there, so I'm actually going to see what I can do. I'm going to try and get another sensor for Wendell Carter. I know that's probably not good in the eyes of Bulls fans, but I'm going to see what I can get. I'll see you guys if I find a trade. All right, I found this trade for Clint Capella. I'm probably going to try and see what I can do if this, this could work. The Bulls would acquire 2.8 mil. Could you guys take Devon Dotson instead? Thank you. You guys will. I probably could have used Devon Dotson, but you never know. What's could, what can, who can we afford in free agency? We can actually pick up someone all right. So what do we need? So point guards, we're fine. Shooting guard, we could probably take another shooting guard. Small forwards, we are fine. Power forwards, we're fine. We need a backup center still. We still need a backup center. So if we got Dwayne Dedman, could possibly work. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually okay with Dwayne Dedman. He can shoot the ball. We can space the full. Yeah, you're sure. I'll offer that to him. Uh, there we go. So we do get Dwayne Dedman. Uh, that's all I'm going to do. I'll see you guys at training camps. Righto. So training camps is the last set of training camps that I'm going to get for this rebuild. I'm going to give it to Zach Levine. I'm probably also going to give it to Kobe White and Chris Middleton maybe. Or I don't know. I'm actually not 100% sure here. Uh, sure, I'll give it to Chris Middleton. See if he would like to progress for us. Advance to next season. I think this team that we've put together is pretty good. I don't, don't think there's anything that I'm going to change here. Let's just look at the roster. Yeah, nah, I think our roster's pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. I'll see you guys with this final rotation. So this season, we're going with Kobe White, Zach Levine, Chris Middleton, Anthony Davis, and Clint Capella starting five with Cade Cunningham, Dwayne Dedman, Chandler Hutchinson, Daniel Gafford coming off of the bench. We got AD, Zach Levine, and Chris Middleton as our scoring options there. We're going with a seven seconds system power rankings here. We are a projected one seed according to NBA.com and one seed according to Eric. So hopefully... We do do better than last time. We were projected one, and I'll see you guys with hopefully a really good record. So we finished with a 57 and 25 record. Giannis on the Clippers was the MVP. Jalen Green, rookie of the year. D'Angelo, sixth man. Kawhi, defensive in Atlanta. Nefale Dante, most improved. And Terrence Brooks, coach of the year. So do we get any Chicago Bulls on these teams? We get Anthony Davis, all NBA third team. Okay. We get, do get Anthony Davis all defensive first. Uh, that's really all there. Cade Cunningham made all rookie first team. And that's really all there. We finish as a two seed in the East. So we weren't exactly the one seed like I was hoping. Uh, player stats here. Zach Levine, 25.4 points. And that's pretty good. Anthony Davis, 25.2 points and 10 boards. So that's pretty good too there. Kobe White, Chris Middleton, Cade Cunningham coming off of the bench doing bits. Uh, Clint Capella was really there just to be a body and uh, getting boards. Dwayne Dedman, Gafford. Uh, Hutchinson. So there you guys will go there. Team stats here. Points per game. We were fourth. Our defense was second and our differential was second in the league. So that's real good there. I don't think lineup wise there's anything that I need change. No, not really. So let's just go straight into it against Milwaukee here in the first round. Let's just sim the round. Hopefully we can uh, we can be good and make past the first round. It will be very, very nice if we can do that. Please 2k. 
Uh, we are up 3-1 after losing our first game. Oh, no, never mind. I think I spoke too soon. Nope, we win in six. Okay, we're taking on the three-seeded Miami Heat. Do the Heat have anyone else other than Jimmy Butler? They have RJ Hampton, Tyler Harrow, Jimmy Butler, Miritich, Steven Adams. So they've just gotten a lot deeper. I think they're a lot deeper than us, but we have a little bit more star power in our starting rotation, so we should be able to pull off the dub against Miami. I mean, make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, where we are taking on the fifth-seeded Brooklyn Nets. So we actually could be in a chance with a chance here. We should be okay. I'm not sure if we're gonna do all right. We might be doing all right. We should be all right. Should be okay. We're up three-one. Okay. Okay, yes, and we're through to the finals, and we're taking on the Grizzlies here, who were the fourth seed in the West, who have Ja Morant, Jason Tatum. How'd they pick up Jason Tatum? DeMarcus Cousins? Okay, yeah, this team is beast mode, man. This team is beastly. This could be a series that we actually lose here. Okay, we're up 3-2. Ooh. Ooh, let's just simulate with Simcast here. Uh, we are away, so we have two chances to try and take this home. We are away, so we could be... We could finish it now or leave it to game seven. Uh, two minutes left. Tie game. I'll jump in, see if I can clutch it out. All right, here we are. So the first things first, got to put it on Hall of Fame difficulty, lad. Got to put it on Hall of Fame, and here we go. So now we we are playing as Kobe White up against Ja Morant. Never mind, we're playing as Anthony Davis here. And uh, I was expecting a much better deep to grab the board there. Can my, oh my goodness, why can't my team play defense all of a sudden? All right, we got to play some lockdown defense here because I really, really, really don't want want to lose this here. Jason Tatum on Chris Middleton. This could be a bit of a mismatch. But yeah, okay, so they do make the basket. Uh, we should have scored that last attempt, but apparently scoring like that is not allowed. So I'm just going to give the ball to AD, who's going to post up Jaron Jackson, who should be able to... Okay, never mind. Okay, lovely, mate. Whew, we got to play some defense now. Okay, never mind. We're not playing some defense. All right, I think I just blew this lead here. The lead? I think I just blew the game. So I'm going to need to pull up from three here. I'm going to have to try and get a three-point shot going up to get off the three-point shot here. Don't know where I was going with it. Let's just chuck it out to Zach. Let's just shoot it, mate. Let's just shoot it. Nope. Okay. What if we chucked it here? Chucked it to Kobe. Could we grab up a screen? And I'll get you to fade, AD. Nope. You're not fading, brother. That was 100% not a fade, but you're up against Jummer. Oh, my goodness. Really? Get out of it, man. Really? I'm going to foul. <sighs> so yeah, what I'm thinking is that we have no chance of coming back here. We have literally no chance because we need to hit a three-point shot just to stay in it. And uh, I've got to hit the... Oh, I hit it. I hit the green. We're still in this game somehow. So we got to play defense. We, okay, no, we got to foul them, aren't we? We're going to have to foul them. That's what we're going to do because they can just dribble the ball out. We're going to have to foul and hope that they miss two. Miss them. We're going to have to hope that they miss the... Free throws, man. We're going to have to foul them. Otherwise, they're going to have a shot clock. Otherwise, they can just dribble out the clock. So, oh, okay. Goddamn. Jason Tatum's not going to miss free throws, is he? No, he's not. He has to miss what this one. Please miss it so we have a chance. Please, man. Please. No, he greened it. All right. That's probably game now. Oh, I managed to not win the game. Really? All right, Kobe. Let's just go over here. Let's give you the ball. Let's just shoot, lob it up. Let's just chuck it up. No, we didn't get it. We need another three-point shot here. No, give it to bloody Zach Levine here. Who misses, and that's game there. Okay. I'll see you guys back at the Simcast. Well then, that didn't go as planned. Let's just hope, hope because we're at home, we can make something here. Please, we let them get off to a great start as well. Oh, it's close again. Oh, really? It's going to be close? Oh, no, it's not. We should be win taking the dub. We've taken the dub. Thank goodness my mess up didn't, me didn't mess everything up. We are the champions with Anthony Davis getting a finals MVP. So AD went off with 38 points. Zach Levine had 30. Chris Middleton had 23. Capella, Cunningham off the bench, did very, very well. Shot a very efficient fire from six. Uh, Kobe White was our point guard, did nice stuff there as well. He had four turnovers, but we can overlook that considering we won. Zach Levine only shot nine for 19. Uh, so yeah, that's really all that happened there. Let's check out the roster. So this was our roster here, guys. I thought we put together a pretty good team. We did end up getting a championship, which means we put together a very, 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 very good team, which uh, I don't need. I don't actually do that very often, if I'm being honest, but let me know what you guys all think down in those comments below. I read every single one. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new we're trying to hit 500 subs by the end of the year it would be amazing if you could show your support and smash the subscribe button as well while you're down there it would be amazing if you guys could do that that's it from me thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video